So here's my Lego dragon, and what I'd like to do is to measure the height of it, you know, how tall is the top of its head. In order to do that, I need uh, a piece of measuring apparatus, and I'm going to use uh, a ruler here. So this is just, you know, a bog standard kind of science thing, okay? Now, if I want to actually measure the, the height of it, I have to be very careful about how I do that. First of all, if the ruler is too far away from what I'm measuring, it's very hard to get a good reading. So the first thing I'm going to do is put it as close as possible uh, to the bit I'm actually recording the height of. Now the other thing is that uh, when I actually take my measurement, if I'm looking down from above, even though the ruler is in the same position, as I move the camera here, what you can see is that the reading uh, of, the, of that top bit of Lego is actually changing on the ruler. And what I've got to be doing then is actually making sure that I have my eyes level with the top of the head. And what this does is it reduces any parallax error. So to reduce any error, what I'm doing is I have my eye in line with the thing that I'm uh, actually recording, as well as making sure the ruler is as close to it as possible. And this gives me my most accurate uh, reading uh, without any parallax error. Now something you won't need to do is to record the height of a dragon uh, when it comes to a practical endorsement or any kind of practical activities, but what you will need to do is maybe look at an analogue meter. Now this one here is an ammeter, and what I'm going to be doing is measuring the current in a small circuit. So if I kind of plug this in, uh, what I'm going to use is the ammeter set between 0 and 1 amp, and therefore I'm going to be looking at the bottom scale here. Now in this position, uh, I actually record the reading, and it looks about 0 0.56 is where the kind of red thing actually kind of meets the scale down here. If, however, I look from the other angle, or maybe look from a different side, what I get now is a bit of a reflection, I'm afraid, uh, an answer which is closer to 0 0.52. And what we need to do is when we're actually recording uh, the, you know, the readings on an analogue device, we need to make sure that we're looking at it head on. Now to help us, what we have is both uh, the actual needle itself is kind of a blade shape, so it's quite flat, and that means you know if you're looking at it from the side or head on. And also, behind it, there's a small mirror. Now this small mirror, again, it reflects uh, the needle. And what you need to do is make sure that your eyes are completely in line so you don't see the reflection of the red line behind it. And what that means is you'll know then that you're looking at it straight on. And that will then reduce any parallax error. And actually the answer here is about 0 0.53 amps. And again, parallax error, it's important that you minimise it as much as possible. So maybe make sure your head is in line with the thing that you're reading, as well as you know, making sure that any devices that you're using are as close to the, the thing that you're measuring as possible.